एवरीवन माय नेम इज अमित एंड यू आर वाचिंग एप्टीट्यूड 360.online दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 3 ऑफ चेन रूल सीरीज इन वीडियो नंबर 1 ऑफ चेन रूल वी लर्नड आवर शॉर्टकट जिसको यूज करके हम प्रॉब्लम को सिर्फ एक लाइन में सिंपलीफाई कर पा रहे थे नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी सिंपलीफाइंग दीस प्रॉब्लम्स बाय यूजिंग आइदर ऑफ चेन रूल और मैंडेस कांसेप्ट दीस टू मेथड्स आर रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वी डिस्कस्ड man this concept in video number 9 of time and work so if you have not seen that video please go watch it and enhance your understanding i'm proceeding with this video i'm trying to solve this very first problem out here by using either of chain rule or man this concept so the problem says that in a barrack of soldiers there was stock of food for 190 days for 4000 soldiers After 30 days, 800 soldiers left the barrack. For how many days shall the leftover food last for the remaining soldiers? Understand this. There are only two variables in this problem. Variable number one is number of soldiers, and variable number two is the days that have that is given to you. So, at the very beginning, there are 4,000 soldiers, and problem tells you that. For four thousand soldiers, you have plenty of food that could go on for that could be sufficient for one ninety days, isn't it? And if you write one ninety days out here, and then it says that after thirty days, so for thirty days, these these four thousand soldiers are consuming food, isn't it? And then eight hundred soldiers are gone. Now, if eight hundred eight hundred soldiers are gone, how many soldiers are we having in barrack now? We have about thirty two hundred. And if we have thirty two hundred soldiers left, then it says that this food will be sufficient for how many days? So we have learned how to how how to simplify problems by using chain rule. So this has to be one ninety into into a fraction. But then there is a problem here. There is a problem here. अगर आप इस प्रॉब्लम को इससे लगाएंगे तो आपको आंसर कभी भी नहीं आएगा अब ये क्यों होगा अंडरस्टैंड ज्यादा देन राइटिंग 190, वी शुड बी राइटिंग हियर 160। सिक्सटी वाई शुड वी राइट 160? सिक्सटी बिकॉज प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट द फूड वॉज सफिशियंट इन द वेरी बिगिनिंग द फूड वॉज सफिशियंट फॉर 190 नाइनटी डेज अब 190 डेज का फूड रखा हुआ है जिसमें से 30 दिन तक तो इन्होंने खाना खाया So these four thousand soldiers were eating food for how many days? Thirty days. अब अगर कोई भी soldier ना तो जाए और ना तो आए, तो food is going to be sufficient for how many days? Now the food is going to be sufficient for one ninety minus thirty, one sixty days. So rather than writing one ninety, what is that? I should be writing out here. I should be writing one one sixty. Then you will be getting the right answer by using chain rule method. Now, how should I use it? Understand this thing. Since number of soldiers is decreasing, previously we had 4,000. Now we have got 3,200. Or ये 160 days के लिए चलता था, तो आप कितने दिन के लिए चलेगा? भाई number of soldiers अगर कम हो गए, तो obviously जो days होगा वो बढ़ेगा. ज़्यादा दिन तक वो soldiers खाना खाएंगे. ज़्यादा दिन तक खाएंगे. इसका मतलब it has to be more than 160. Since we are looking for a value which is more than 160, so this this ratio has to be what? More than one, which is 4,000 upon 3,200. And if we simplify this, it is going to be it is going to be five divided by four. So four and four, forty into five. That one comes out as two hundred days. Did you understand this? Did you understand this? So this is how we utilized chain rule problem, chain rule method. But what did you learn? You should not be writing one ninety out here. Up, चलो एक बार इसमें man days concept लगा के देखते हैं. Man days concept, as I said that you should be. It is there. It is there in video number. It is there in video number nine. It is there in video number nine of time and work. अब अगर मेरे को इसको ये method utilize करना है तो मैं क्या assume करूँगा कि एक सोल्जर ने एक दिन में एक किलो खाना खाया दिस अ वेरी बेसिक थिंग राइट सो हाउ मेनी सोल्जर्स वी हैव गॉट वी हैव गॉट फोर थाउजेंड सोल्जर्स सो फोर थाउजेंड सोल्जर्स विल बी ईटिंग फूड फॉर हाउ मेनी 
uh, how many kilogram of food that they will be consuming per day? 4000 kilogram. And kitne dino ke liye hamare paas mein khana hona chahiye? 190 days ke liye hona chahiye. So garrison mein kitna kilogram provision hoga? These many kilograms. Do you understand this? And problem tells you that for 30 days, these 4000 people are consuming the food. Ab isme se itna to aapko these many kilograms you will have to subtract. And if you subtract this, what is that you are left with? 190 minus 30, it is going to be itna khana bach gaya. Problem ke hisaap se itna khana bach gaya. And 800 soldiers now are gone. And if 800 soldiers are gone, so how many soldiers we have? We are left with 3200. Ab agar ek admi, ek soldier, ek din mein ek kilo food consume karta hai, so, ये 3200 soldiers will be consuming how many how many kilograms of food 3200 kilograms of food और अगर ऐसा है तो कितने दिनों तक चलेगा that is what we need to find out that is what we need to find out so I'll I'll say that uh, it is going to be for for x days so so this this equation is going to be how much 4000 into 160 is equal to 3200 into x and if you simplify this if you simplify this do not you think that you are getting the same value again? You are going to get this value again. And if you simplify, you will be having 200. So what did I say? You can, you can simplify your problem by using of either of these two methods. Aap kaha pek, aapko convenient lag raha hai, you decide. 5, 6, 10 problem lagane ke baad mein, whichever method seems to be better for you, aap us method ke saath aage job, but answer nikal ke dikhao aap. Now, I'm going to solve this problem by using only chain rule method. Aap Mandias concept says ko lagaye. It says that a garrison of 500 men had provisions for 2700, 27 days after 3 days. So, how many men do we have? 500. Kitna days likhenge? Please understand it will be 24. It will not be 27. Why? Because 3 din tak to khana khaya na bhai. And then it says a provision... An enforcement, uh, uh, not enforcement, reinforcement of 300 men arrived. And if this is like this, how many men will be? 800. Now, how many days will go? That's what So, this is going to be what? This is going to be what? X is going to be equal to 24 into, understand, if men are more, days will be less than 24. And if 24 is a small value, then what should be a fraction kya hona chahiye? Less than 1. Less than 1 is going to be 500 divided by 800. Simplify karlo, aapka answer kitna aagya? 15 days. You can also simplify this problem in one line by using Mandel's concept. Please do that for yourself. Read this problem, people. Read this problem. This one, this one is a bit better. This one is a bit better. It says that a garrison of 2,000 men has provision for, of ration for 66 days. At the end of a fortnight, fortnight means 14 days, a reinforcement arrives and it is found that ration will last only for 20 more days. Then what is the strength of this reinforcement? So we have got, we have got men. How many men do we have? We have got 2000. What is the days that I should be writing? Previously, the food was sufficient for them for 66 days. Abu 66 days may say fortnight and 14 days you know, nikhana khaya, to bacha kitna. Now the food is going to be sufficient for 40 days to 42 days, provided the strength remains 2000. So I'm gonna write this one as 42. Is that okay? Now, now it says that kush to or log aage. Malo x log or age. And what is the value of x? That is what we need to find out. Now the strength is 2000 plus x. And problem says that now the food is going to be sufficient for only 20 days. So you will have to find out what is going to be the strength of that reinforcement. So can I write this one as 2000 plus x is equal to 2000 into a ratio into a ratio. Now, since days are decreasing, previously it was 42, now it is 20. Aapko ye to samaj mein aana chahiye ki bhai, days agar kam hua, to number of men will have to be more. 
तो इसका मतलब क्या हो गया ये जो ये जो रेशियो आप लिखोगे इट हैज टू बी मोर देन वन फोर्टी टू अपॉन फोर्टी टू अपॉन टू हंड्रेड और अगर ये भी नहीं दिखाते तो ये देखो ना टू थाउजेंड प्लस एक्स ये टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड प्लस एक्स ऑब्वियसली इज मोर देन टू थाउजेंड इसका मतलब है कि ये ये जो ये जो रेशियो आप लिखोगे इट हैज टू बी मोर देन वन नाउ दिस इज हंड्रेड एंड दिस इज कमिंग आउट एज फोर्टी टू हंड्रेड सो टू थाउजेंड प्लस एक्स is 4200 so what is going to be the value of x the value of x is going to be 2200 now problem is simplified and you can also do this problem by using mandes concept do this for yourself so is problem pe jo aap fas sakte ho na do hi teen jagah pe aap fas sakte ho ek maybe you do not understand what is the numeric under the value of fortnite maybe maybe aap yahan pe galti kar jaoge 20 more days aur kai sare log isko 42 की बजाय यहां पे क्या क्या लिख लिख देंगे 42 प्लस 20 लिख देंगे सो so, आप अपने कॉमन सेंस का यूज करो भाई री एनफोर्समेंट अगर आ गया लोग ज्यादा हो गए तो डेज विल हैव टू बी लेस इट कैन नॉट बी मोर इज दैट ओके नाउ लेट अस सिंपलीफाई दिस वन दिस वन इज इज अ वेरी गुड प्रॉब्लम टू सॉल्व इट सेज दैट अ गैरिसन हैड प्रोविजन फॉर फॉर सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ डेज सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ डेज and after 10 days so i would say that i would say that how many men do i have i have got a men and then how many how many days b days do you understand this problem says that after 10 days so if you have got men are a then this food is going to be sufficient for how many days b minus 10 days kyunki 10 ni ka to khana khatam do you understand this and one fifth of men desert the the camp to jo one fifth chala gaya to bachega kitna four fifth bachega so what is going to be this value number of men will be 4 by 5 a and the problem tells you that and it is found that the provisions will now last just as long as before before ka matlab d days aapne kitna yahan pe liya tha b days liya tha so this is going to be b so this is how you have to simplify this problem now What is going to be the value of b? Can I write that b is going to be b minus ten into into a fraction into a fraction? When men are less, you got you have a men here, and then you have got four fifth of men here. Number of men certainly is decreasing from here to here, and when number of men is decreasing, obviously the day will have to increase by b b will have to be more than b minus 10 and if b will have to be more than b minus 10 over here this fraction will have to be more than 1 or less than 1 it has to be more than 1 right aur agar ye more than 1 hona chahiye to aap kya likhoge yahan pe numerator will have to be bigger than the denominator so it will have to be a divided by 4 by 5a is that okay So now, if you simplify this thing, if you simplify this thing, it is going to look like it is going to look like five b. So this is going to be b b minus ten into into five by four. So this is going to be what four b and then five b minus fifty. So what does that mean? If you want to simplify the value of b comes out as 50 did you understand and that is what they are asking you that is what they are asking you in the problem hai to bada simple aap isko mandate se laga ke dekhna ho sakta hai aur simplify ho jaye but chain rule se main keh raha hu problem lagenge zarur lagenge aapke so this is what this is what we had in this video in this in this particular slide how many how long was that so it was 50 days it was 50 days let us try to simplify this problem out here it says that a contractor employed 30 men to do a piece of work in 38 days after 25 days he employed 5 men more and the work was completed was work was finished one day earlier how many days he would have been behind if he had not employed additional men let me simplify this problem by using the concept of man days and what is that i'm going to assume i'm going to assume that i am giving 1 rupee per day पर पर्सन तो हर एक वर्कर को मैंने एक दिन में एक रुपया दिया ठीक है जी 
and how many men do I have? 30 men. So every day I'm going to be distributing 30 rupees. And as per the problem, after 25, so for 25 days, I am going to be giving 30 rupees each. Does this make sense to you? So 25 days, tak maine paisa diya kitna hoga? 25 into 30, it is coming out as 750 rupees. De diya. And after 25 days, this contractor gets a realization ki aapko to garbar ho gayi problem to mera matlab bhi jo mera kam hai wo to khatam nahi ho payega. So he had five more men. Now we have got 35 men. And their salaries is one rupee per day. Ab per day kitna paisa ham denge? Thirty five rupees denge. तो इसका मतलब हो गया कि हम पर डे अब थर्टी फाइव रुपीज देंगे तो प्रॉब्लम की कंडीशन के हिसाब से वो ये कह रहा है कि काम एक दिन पहले खत्म हो जाएगा तो यू द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर प्लान फॉर थर्टी एट डेज ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज तो हो गया बचा कितना थर्टीन डेज वो कह रहा है काम अब थर्टीन डेज में नहीं फिनिश होगा काम ट्वेल्व डेज में ही वन डे लेस प्रायर वन डे प्रायर में फिनिश हो जाएगा सो दिस वन इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेल्व दिस वन इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेल्व कैन यू कैन यू मल्टीप्लाई दीज वैल्यूज Can you multiply these two values? So this is coming out as 750 and 420. What is going to be the net worth of this work? Net worth of this work is going to be 1170 rupees as per our understanding, isn't it? Now, I'm going to 1170 rupees for one day. I'm going to hire 1170 people and finish the work. Or I'm going to hire one person and finish the work for 1170 days. Do you understand this? Now, the problem is saying something else. How many days he would have been behind? Had he not hired the additional men? How many people had he? 30. How many days did he work with him? 38 days. So, 30 into 38 is going to be how much? 0. 1. 1. आपने पैसा आपने क्यों कॉन्ट्रैक्टर ने पैसा डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कितना किया वन वन फोर जीरो एंड व्हाट इज द नेट वर्थ ऑफ द वर्क नेट वर्थ ऑफ द वर्क इज वन वन सेवन जीरो रुपीज एंड हाउ मेनी रुपीज डिड ही डिस्ट्रीब्यूट ही डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड वन वन फोर जीरो रुपीज कितना अभी भी बाकी रह गया थर्टी रुपीज का काम बाकी रह गया ऐसे तो बोलेंगे हम लेमन टॉम पे कि काम कितने रुपए का बाकी रह गया भाई वन वन सेवन जीरो रुपीज का काम था 1140 रुपीस दे दिया तो बचा कितना 30 रुपीस अब 30 रुपीस के हिसाब से आपके पास आदमी कितने 30 अब या 30 रुपीस 30 मिनट को देने के लिए एक दिन यानी ये कितने दिन अभी भी बिहाइंड है इसमें 30 और ऐड करेंगे तभी तो ये यहाँ पहुँचेगा ना भाई 30 रुपीस का काम मतलब एक दिन का काम अब ये कितने दिन पीछ my proposition is you can simplify problems by using either of chain rule or by using Mandias concept. मैंने इन दोनों को यहाँ पे क्यों use किया? So that आप ना problem की difficulty के हिसाब से आप देखो कि कौन सा आप use करना चाहते हो, right? So this is what I had in this video, people. In the next video, what I'm going to do? I'm going to simplify five, six very tougher problems. जहाँ पे अगर ये problem अगर आपको समझ में आ गया ना? तो फिर चेन रूल के कैसे भी प्रॉब्लम कितनी भी डिफिकल्टी लेवल हो कहीं पे भी प्रॉब्लम हो आप वो सारे के सारे लगा लोगे सो प्लीज गो एंड वॉच वीडियो नंबर फोर टू इनहांस योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन थ्री वीडियोस अब आप चौथी वीडियो के सारे प्रॉब्लम पहले आप लगा के देखो आपसे बन जाए तो फिर तो बड़ी अच्छी बात है सो आई एम गी यू देर टिल देन बाबा टेक केयर एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वर्क